In this video, we'll learn about reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are the following. Myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, themselves. Now, let's see when we use reflexive pronouns. All right, one reason for us to use a reflexive pronoun in a sentence is when the subject and the object of a verb happen to be the same. For instance, he looks at himself in the mirror. Here you can see that he appears as the subject, but also as the object in the same sentence. Or another example would be, she cut herself with the knife while making salad. Once again, she appears as the subject, but also as the object in the same sentence. The second reason for us to use a reflexive pronoun in a sentence is when we want to emphasize the subject or the object in our speech. In a way, we want to show that it's that particular person or thing, not anybody else or anything else that we are talking about. For instance, Tom painted this picture himself. As you can see here, we have used a reflexive pronoun in the sentence himself. And the reason we have used a reflexive pronoun is because we want to emphasize that it's Tom who painted the picture, not anybody else. Another example would be, the door must be closed because I locked it myself. Once again, we have used here a reflexive pronoun myself. And the reason is because we want to emphasize the subject or the doer of the action in this sentence. All right, the third reason for us to use a reflexive pronoun in our speech is to simply emphasize or show that the subject does something alone. In such sentences, a reflexive pronoun always must be preceded by the preposition by. Let's look at it in the examples. Alice is sitting in her room by herself. As you can see here, we have used a reflexive pronoun which is preceded by the preposition by. And the reason we have used a reflexive pronoun is to simply show that Alice is sitting in her room on her own, alone, not with somebody else. The second example would be, Tom always does his homework by himself. Nobody helps him. Once again, we have used a reflexive pronoun preceded by a preposition by. And the reason we have used a reflexive pronoun is to simply show that Tom does his homework on his own, alone. As the second sentence shows, nobody helps him. Reflexive pronouns can come in different places in a sentence, depending on the purpose it's been used for. For instance, if you are going to use a reflexive pronoun as an object in a sentence, then it's going to come right after the verb. For instance, she bought herself in a shirt here, as you can see, we have a reflexive pronoun used as an object, and it has come right after the verb. Another example would be, take care of yourself. Here, we have a reflexive pronoun, once again, used as an object, and it has come right after the verb. As I already mentioned, we can also use reflexive pronouns to emphasize the subject or object in a sentence. In such cases, then reflexive pronoun is going to come either at the very end of the sentence or right after the emphasized object or subject. For instance, you did it yourself. Here, we have a reflexive pronoun that's been used to emphasize the subject you. And as you can see, it's been used at the very end of the sentence. Or another example would be try to talk to the manager himself if you can. Here, we have a reflexive pronoun used to emphasize the object manager. And as you can see, it comes right after the object. Lastly, as I already mentioned, we can also use the reflexive pronouns to mean that the subject is alone in doing something. In such cases, then reflexive pronouns will always come at the very end of the sentence and it will always be preceded by the preposition by. Let's look at it in the example. My grandma harvested all these fruits by herself. Here we have a reflexive pronoun coming at the very end of the sentence and it's been preceded by the preposition by. Lastly, did you finish all this work by yourself? 
here once again, we have a reflexive pronoun coming at the end of the sentence and it's been preceded by the preposition by. Now it's time for you to practice. For quiz one, I would like you to look at the sentences given on the screen and fill the blank spaces with proper reflexive pronouns. You have 30 seconds to prepare your answers. After 30 seconds, I'll show you the correct answers so that you can cross check. All right, the time is up. Now let's see the correct answers for quiz one. She found herself a new hobby. They have to take care of themselves. He does not like to talk about himself. The phone is turning itself off. I always ask this question to myself. Did you enjoy yourself during the holiday? For quiz two, I would like you to choose one of the two options given for each sentence. Once again, you have 30 seconds to prepare your answers. After 30 seconds, I'll show you the correct answers so that you can cross check. All right, now let's see the correct answer is for quiz two. She always talks to herself. Ouch, I just hurt myself. Describe yourself in a few sentences. Her parents live by themselves. We suggested to go there ourselves. I called the director herself. All right, it's time for homework. I would like you to use each reflexive pronoun, at least in two sentences. You can write down your sentences in the comment section below. I'll try to check them for you whenever I can. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you in the next video.